Hey YouTube, my name is Alan, my screen name is Follow Bottom Distro, and I'm the Your Tube Advocate for the month of November. Instead of doing a normal intro video, I thought I'd kick things right off with a week in review. Um, as most of you might have heard by now, Mike Skihan's channel was suspended last night. When I spoke to YouTube last night, they said they couldn't share the reasons with a third party, but did say that Mike was aware of the reason he was suspended. Later last night, when I spoke to Mike, he told me he had still not received an answer as to why he was suspended. Take from that what you will. This seems to be a recurring problem though lately. A lot of accounts have been going down um, with little or no explanation. Sometimes they pop back up, other times they don't. I understand that YouTube is a business, I understand that Google has to protect itself, but I also think that there should be a little bit of a warning or a little bit of an explanation, communication, uh, something when a channel is about to be suspended or is suspended. None of us follow Toss all the time. I mean, as sexy Phil breaks the thumb pick rule, we all comment, spam our friends' pages, you know. But to know how much we can get away with and what we can't get away with, you know, just kind of give us a little poke beforehand, say, hey, knock that shit off. Some are speculating that the suspension is because of Mike Skihan's latest campaign, which was the Pedophile Week, uh, where he attempted to expose a number of pedos on the site and to get the, their accounts banned. He was successful in getting a few accounts closed and even thanked YouTube for this. However, he may have crossed the line and defamed a few people that, you know, either didn't deserve it or couldn't be proven, what have you. Um, and if they contacted YouTube, that might have led to the suspension. I'll definitely keep you updated if I hear anything. Also in their blog last week, YouTube posted a preview of the new videos page. YouTube is going to be combining the videos and categories tabs into one page. While I enjoy the new functionality of the combined pages, um, I also see some major drawbacks to it. And I outlined those in an email to YouTube that I'd like to read you now. YouTube. Good to see you plan on expanding the categories into more specific topics. A number of users have been asking for this, and I'm very happy to see that addressed. Thanks. However, I do have two issues with the preview of the new videos page. First, by combining the videos and categories pages, the videos featured in specific categories are now less visible. Category features are one of the few ways smaller talented channels are seen. Please reconsider or redesign so that the category featured videos are the first to display when viewing this page. Second, it appears the new videos page design removed the featured channels in each category. This is also disappointing as it is yet one less avenue for new or smaller talented channels. The drop down menus are good and they do clean up some of the clutter on the old page. Hope this helps. If you have any other concerns or issues with the uh, new design, please let me know and I'll pass those on to YouTube in my next email. Also, one last update to YouTube's design for this week. The uh, Watch 3.0 page is now live. You no longer have the choice of going back to the beta page or the new page. Um, so Watch 3.0 is here to stay. There were some complaints early on about the date. Um, videos used to display the exact dates they were added, you know, such as October 31st, 2007. But they moved away from that with the new Watch 3.0 page and just had one month ago, one week ago, one year ago. It was kind of rounded. However, YouTube listened to those concerns and quickly changed it. It now displays the correct date the videos were added. Uh, even if that date is today, it no longer says one hour ago or 47 minutes ago. It now states, you know, October 31st, 2007. All right, happy Halloween, guys. Thanks for watching. And as always, if there's any concerns or issues you need addressed, please PM me either here or on my personal channel, Fall of Autumn Distro.